Hello guys, welcome to our channel Wave Entertainment. We are all about documenting South African stories. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so we can keep making more videos. It also helps our channel to grow. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Sibusiso Liope, popularly known as DJ Sbu, is a South African award-winning social entrepreneur, DJ, TV and radio host, music producer, sound engineer, actor, best-selling author, motivational speaker and philanthropist who thrives on giving back to the youth of Africa. He was born in Tembisa, a township in Johannesburg. Sibusiso was raised by his parents Mutlehi and Tombizo Dwali Yaupe. He is considered by many as African youth icon. The brand DJ Sbu shaped youth culture and thinking in South Africa over the past two decades. Despite his tough upbringing in Tembisa, he has overcame obstacles in his journey and made a name for himself using media talents on national television and radio. Sbu started his studies at Welamlambu Primary School in Tembisa and eventually moved to North Gauteng when he enrolled at Central Secondary School in Pretoria in 1993. After high school, he enrolled at African Media University where he studied sound engineering and graduated. DJ Sbu later went on to enroll at Vets University and studied electrical engineering for four years and began his broadcasting career in 1998 when he worked at Tembisa Info Radio Station which was a community radio station based at his township in Tembisa. He worked there for 18 months and he was responsible for producing and hosting popular weekend shows. Learning his way around producing, DJ Sbu also filmed a movie called Hang Time in July 2000. A few months later, he was featured in Generation and he was becoming known by other television series producers. More people wanted to feature him at that point because he was becoming more famous. DJ Sbu was featured on Isidingo in 2001 and he starred on It Rained Last Night which was a drama television. In 2000, many people soon started becoming familiar with him as he was becoming more and more famous. He shot the Toyota TV advert in 2000 and he later did another advert for World Online. After serving Tembisa Info Radio for 18 months, he decided to depart and start a journey with YFM, a South African youth radio station based in Johannesburg in 2000. He worked as a producer and as a host for yet another popular weekend show on YFM called Beauty and the Beast with Angela Ludek. In 2001, with the help of Gero Ruff, he established TS Records with Teminko Singliza. The company was a record label and events production company. The label was later responsible for many Kwaito hits and Afropop hits in the early to mid 2000s. The infamous Mzegezeke was their first signing. Other artists on the stable included Briggs, Tlantla, Lungelo, Pro Kid, Ropi Malinga, and Zahara. For many years, South Africans were under the impression that DJ Sbu is in fact Mzegezeke himself. DJ Sbu, however, maintained multiple times that he is not the S9 Kwaito star. In 2018, DJ Sbu posted a video clip of him interviewing Zeke Zeke on his radio show on Massive Metro. Because I You are confused for me. Because I'm confused for you. Is it confusing yeah. for me for you? To us together. As expected, many South Africans were puzzled. Some people believe the clip was doctored, citing that Tyler Perry and Eddie Murphy who have played multiple characters in movies. This was not the first time DJ Sbu interviewed Mzege Zeke. In his third studio album, Ama PEE, which was released in 2006 in a skit called TSFM, DJ Sbu interviews Mzege Zeke. In their interview, 
the two characters can be heard conversing in another stage interview. Either way, the two got people talking for days on social media. Mzege Zege released his first album, Skutka Ngama in 2003 and went on to be smashed quite a success. The album included hits such as Akeku Koko, Ama Pii, Important People and countless others. In 2001, DJ Spoo used to publish his writings through a monthly column in YFM. He also served as a DJ in the Vinyl Experience Meltdown competition which was every Friday on DJ Fresh's show The Easy Drive. In 2003, he won two awards at the South African Music Awards for the song Amakoporosh and Artist of the Year. He continued his journey by presenting a talent search show called Kumba Fire which was aired on SAPC1. DJ Spoo had a hunger to learn more about producing and hosting. In 2004, he begged another hosting gig as a host of a game show called Friends Like This on SAPC1. During the same year, at the South African Music Awards ceremony, he won yet again Song of the Year and Artist of the Year. In 2005, he was announced as a new radio presenter for the YFM show Wirelands. Later on that year, he was awarded with Presenter of the Year. DJ Spoo served as a pillar of YFM from 2005 till 2010. In 2006, he won two summer awards and a Metro FM Song of the Year for his hit single, Remember When It Rained. DJ Spoo left YFM in 2007 to host a breakfast show on Ukozi FM. After a year, he returned to YFM before leaving the station to join Metro FM in 2010. During 2007, he won Remix of the Year at South African Music Awards. The following year, Spoo hosted a breakfast show on YFM and later that year won Breakfast Radio Show of the Year at SAM Zanzi Awards. He also won GQ Best Race Mail in South Africa in 2008 and 2009. In 2010, Metro FM announced that DJ Spoo has joined the station. DJ Spoo brings new slot not only relevance to the brand but to our listeners. His approach on lifestyle and that's hot and happening will ensure listeners are kept entertained and captivated with the unique on air style of delivery said Karin Olsen, then Metro FM program manager. In 2011, he released his album Sound Revival and won Remix of the Year for his hit single Lengoma which featured Zahara. The following year, he featured Nak Music who was then known for acting on Generation as MJ on a song called Cleaner which then became a smash hit. Forbes listed him as one of the young Africans to watch in 2013. He won Sunday Times Coolest Brands and South African Role Model of the Year at Future Awards in 2013. In 2014, DJ Spoo and two business partners founded Mofire Energy Drink with the aim to create a strong, authentically African-inspired, non-alcoholic beverage brand. The brand started with one energy drink variant, which was followed by the introduction of three additional flavors. In 2014 and 2015, he was awarded Most Inspirational Entrepreneur at VUCA Awards. In 2015, it was announced that DJ Spoo is leaving friends like this after being at the show for 11 years. About leaving the show, he said, I am humbled to have worked with the best in the business of entertainment. I have learned a lot working with Eben Brew, the BBC and SAPC1 to create such a successful game show. It has made my entertainment career a success and a household name in the South African television industry. He said it's time for him to make way for others and move on to bigger challenges. Spoo hosted over 100 episodes of Friends Like This which made his fan base expand. Spoo's career was nearing its end when he was suspended following the Metro FM Awards where he promoted his energy drink more fire against the rules and regulations they were given prior to the event. 
Yes, I've accepted the dismissal from Metro FM. I'm grateful for what the station did for me, DJ Spoo quoted in Sunday Times. He revealed that he wants the station and the national broadcaster to forgive him for what he did during the awards. He added by saying, I'll be looking forward with working with any station under the SAPC because it has nurtured me thus far. In 2016, he won the PET Humanitarian Award. In 2017, he begged South African Trailblazer of the Year. Also, 2017 was the year his record company, TS Record, was closed. Since then, there's been a dispute between Zahara and the label. After leaving TS Records in 2017, Zahara claimed the record label owed her millions of rands. TS Records rejected claims made by Zahara in 2019 and released a statement saying that she had been well compensated for her albums Loliwe, Pendula and Country Girl. These records were released through EMI South Africa and then through Universal Music. To the best of TS Records knowledge, Zahara and the producer of the above albums were paid and continue to receive all forms of royalties that are due to them. However, during her appearance on the celebrity edition of Podcast and Chill with McGee, Zahara said that she is still owed money by the record company. DJ Spoo claimed Zahara actually owes them money. If you go to the Universal Books, she actually owes us money and she doesn't know that. Zahara was getting 50% of her royalty rates and TS Record was getting 50% and it wasn't supposed to be like that. DJ Spoo added when they parted ways, he was scapegoat as the bad guy while he really should not be blamed for Zahara's misfortunes years later. DJ Spoo is also a published author. He wrote The Art of Peer Pressure, Sell or Surrender and The Hustler's Corner essay. Both his books were published by his Leadership 2020 organization, which focuses on leadership, entrepreneurial and leadership development. In his books, he emphasized the importance of entrepreneurial skills. His Mofire brand launched a range of 12 carbonated soft drinks in 2020. Mofire has been doing incredible work in line with the government's narrative and drive towards youth empowerment, creating jobs, teaching entrepreneurial and business, living, breathing, working and preaching it to become a true patriotic organization that has overcome many odds over and over to prove that we are here to stay," said DJ Spoo. What more fire has turned into, it becomes hard to believe that one of the most recognizable names in the local energy drinks business was once rejected by the same industry it celebrates today. In 2017, 26% of the stake of Mofire beverage production was sold to Coca-Cola. DJ Spoo described the deal as an acquisition deal that will see Mofire produce its own carbonated soft drinks, different energy drink flavors, and will see Mofire brand in every single fridge in the whole of South Africa, the Sadek region, and to over 17 African countries. In May 2017, DJ Spoo co-founded Massive Metro, an online radio station targeting commuters. When the station first operated, within the first six months, they reached a weekly audience of 700,000 listeners. DJ Spoo announced his exit at Massive Metro in 2021, citing other business interests that he was pursuing. He went on to open the Hustlers Corners podcast on YouTube. In 2020, Spoo launched Homegrown Radio, which is a sister radio station to a massive metro. Spoo shared in a lengthy Instagram post that Homegrown Radio is co-founded by their students from their new radio training program called I Was Born to Speak Radio. As of 2023, Spoo currently hosts Hustlers Corners podcast and several other YouTube channels. Over the past decade, he has managed to be on national platforms, exposing his brand and personality to 25 million people per week. Thank you for watching this video. Please tell us your thoughts 
in the comment section and we shall respond with our own thoughts.